record again tonight. Yeah. Um, I thought it'd be helpful just to go through the minutes just to get leveled and where we left off. If nothing else. We can make corrections as well. Um, let's see. We went through the backstory, um, the genesis of the overall, um, the, the individuals who sponsored the original resolution had been aware of or monitoring other cities where they've seen threats or um, public issues. Um, the desired outcome of the proclamation is to put back a proactive statement about unacceptable behaviors. We got and went into what is good versus bad. How do we define hate? Uh, we talked about can we talk about positives versus negatives? Um, Caitlin, I, I had you as need to condemn behavior, so needs to include some negatives. And Gina, you mentioned that this wasn't taken lightly nor, try, nor an attempt to limit speech. It was not the intent of uh, the, re the resolution. We talked about how to get kind of full support from the, the board. Does it have to be a proclamation of the board? Can it be thought of as committees indicating support for another group's resolution? Is it one document? Is it two documents? Is it What is the form of it? And then um, how do we represent town sentiments versus other subgroups that might come before and say our board and, and want something else said? We talked about alternative constructions of a statement. Um, there was some thought that the group of five or six would be okay with a revision of the original statement or would be okay with an independent statement by the Board of Selectmen that is complimentary but would be crafted separately. How did we make the phrasing more inclusive? Outside parties might perceive the language as inhibiting. And then we picked our next meeting, which obviously we're here tonight. And we left it about at 940. So that doesn't sound like a lot of work, but that was two hours worth of work. My question, since I wasn't here, the, if you just scroll up a little to um, desired outcome of proclamation. Hi. Hi. This, this was in a section where we were trying to figure out what the desired outcome was. Was it a single document that, that both part, that both the board and the, and the group of, do you have a name so I can stop calling it the group of five or six? We don't. Why not the group of five? <laughs> we'll call it the group of five <laughs> to be named at a later date. Um, that would be one document that you're looking to get concurrence on, or is it um, endorsement of your document, or are you looking for a complementary? And, and that's what gave rise to the right. But I'm I'm just confused that I'm not under the impression that we're putting a proactive statement about unacceptable behaviors forward. So, am I missing something here? I'm just confused. No, I think that. I think that just came up as sort of part of the conversation as. I don't know if it was yeah, I think of that as the conversation way. about, you know, do we just talk about all the positive things about Reading or do we want to specifically call out things that we are not okay with? Oh, so, comment. so maybe there's a question or something like, okay. Question well, it was mark? kind of like, can we be more positive rather than... Right, you did spend a lot of time talking about that. Yeah. Right, yeah. right, right. You know what? I'm sorry. I know I know you from town meeting. What's your name, Linda Phillips? And Gary Phillips. Linda and Gary. I'm Demetra. I Do knew you have chickens. Yes. Uh, so, you gave me your number one time. Yes, I, I knew we'd met, but I couldn't I remember how your they name. changed the bylaw without asking well, us. I still have chickens. And all of a sudden, my chickens were outlawed. <laughs> yeah, I remember. I was so mad about that oh, one. Oh, we'll have dinner then. That's another <laughs> one. <Yeah>. Beef. <laughs> So anyway, that was that was last week's minutes, and um, I've, I think those got distributed. Did I remember that? Mm -hmm. Okay. Yep, you sent them out. And what I thought I'd do is just start tonight where we left off, if that is a backdrop. Yeah, so since we last met, um, we have offline discussed a lot of the uh, comments that were brought up last time, um, and we really gave a lot of thought, I think, into, you know, what sort of changes we were willing to um, to incorporate, and we have since redrafted um, version 2.0, including much, I think, of what we talked about. Um, we've rewritten it in prose, which I think one of my big takeaways last time was sort of the um, you know the format of the resolved and so the kind of rigid structure to yeah it. and and right. maybe that was a little bit off-putting to some people um, so you know I think this new language definitely um, can you email it I'll throw it up on the screen yeah 
Did you send you? Uh, yeah, I sent you an email with it. Oh. Did you, did you print out copies though? Yeah, I did. Okay, that's yeah. Good. I don't want to write it on Bob's screen there. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Sure. You want to print it out? Oh, you have one? I have one. Okay, let's see if it shows up. Thank you. So here it is. Um, the things I don't know if you want to go through the things specifically that we um, dealt with. They were brought up here. They were also dealt, you know brought up within the community. Um, uh, the the concern of, of trying to speak for specific individual residents. We took out any reference to that. Um, the directing of other um, other elected officials. I know, John, that was something that you had we had talked about through what you are in our community. Even though you're bored with power, you don't have all the power. Um, so we, we reworked that language as well. Um, we added in um, the specific. Actually, why don't I just let folks read it and then we can talk to you. So is it your, is it still your desire that this is a document that's um, from the Reading Board of Selectmen? So that essentially this is a Selectmen document or a, um, 
some sort of a general document that is this a proclamation a reaffirmation or what what is it yeah so we did talk about that and i think um we are looking for it to be adopted by the board of selectmen and otherwise as opposed to a selectmen document what does adopted mean well, in other words, that you take the document that we've crafted and you approve it and you adopt it as a resolution or a proclamation, whichever. Right, and we have talked. Resolution is what I'm comfortable with because that's just the word I'm comfortable with. It's as opposed to which we talked about earlier in the week. You know, you were asking, are we ask, are we looking for an endorsement for a document of our group versus you know an, an adopting? We, right. we don't want it. To go somewhere to die after this you know and 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 we talked a little bit about like well who are we what's our group but you know if we could go around and collect endorsements for all these people and then and then what happens to it you know so we we're not a town committee um, we're just citizens so I think for that reason you know and if we want this document to survive we would like to to go the adopted by the Board of Selectmen route. Now, I don't know if that's a technical term or not, but whatever means well, that the Board of Selectmen is embracing this as a town document. There's some elephants in here that I think you'd get complete concurrence of. There's some elements in here that I think are really problematic. For example, um, we will condemn those words and acts of hate Sorry, just tolerance. tell us which para you're in. Paragraph two, last sentence. So that that whole sentence is something that you're uncomfortable with. No, I'm saying speaking for the board, it's impo It's I cannot foresee a situation where five of us condemn the ex the execution of a right by others. Um, as much as I hate what some people say, it's their right to say it. And I can't, we can't be in the position of condemning free speech. We ought to be celebrating it. Okay, so I think that that, when we left off earlier in the week, that, we that, sort of talked about, you know, we'll go through, we, we took the input, let's make the changes that we think we can. Um, and we offline went through the things that we feel very strongly that we want to hold on to. And that absolutely is one of them. Because it's the First Amendment right of a governing body also to condemn something. So in other words, one First Amendment right doesn't trump another's. Actually, government can't condemn speech. Government does condemn speech. <clears throat> so it can I read not. something? I think... Well, I think that this is the, well, the form of an opinion, not a law. So, and I think that this is very like that line specifically is what we were hoping town council could weigh in on. But from our research, we feel strongly that it will hold up. Um, so I'll just read a few different lines that I've pulled from. Um, this is language directly from court cases. The free speech clause restricts government regulation of private speech. It does not regulate government speech. A government entity has the right to speak for itself. Another one. Government is not restrained by First Amendment from controlling its own expression. That may be true, but this calls for us to condemn the words of other well, independents. Well, yeah, hold on. It is the very business of government to favor and disfavor points of view. And lastly. Indeed, it is not easy to imagine how government could function if it lacked this freedom. If every citizen were to have a right to insist that no one paid by public funds express a view with which he disagreed, debate over issues of great concern to the public would be limited to those in the private sector, and the process of government as we know it radically transformed. I, I accept that you can find alternative opinions. I think it's the chances are quite low that you'll get five individuals to accept that sentence, especially the one that follows. An attack on one will be viewed as an attack on all. We're not in the business of attacking people. We're in the business of encouraging conversation and dialogue. Can, can, I, can I take a, let me take a run at this. Um, I, I agree, as this is written, I think we'd have a hard time gaining support, especially when we use around the word condemn. 
But I think that government, whether it be a board of selectmen, is almost incumbent to stand up when someone's use of free speech in ads violates the constitutional rights of others. And it does so through the police or law enforcement. But also um, leadership can affirm that and reaffirm that. But only after. But it doesn't, that doesn't say that in here. Um, Correct. I would feel more comfortable having it say something like, um, because I think the, fir the, first, the first sentence in that paragraph is good because it basically says that we also are re reaffirming that um, as much as um, we may not like what some people are going to do or say, right. we're, never, we're not going to do anything um, to alter that on their constitutional rights. But when, but when those acts in words violate the constitutional rights of others who may be more vulnerable in the society, then it's incumbent upon government. To speak up, but that that link's not in. Well, a person, an individual actor, can't violate the rights of another individual actor. So my my words to you can't violate as, pe as just as individual people. The Constitution is is for state actors. So if I'll just say you because you're standing yeah. across. <laughs> yeah, I'm not attributing this to you. So if. Or if let's say your kid goes to my kid, yeah. it might be Muslim, as we do. Mm -hmm. and that, and then my kid goes home crying to me, mm -hmm. doesn't want to go to school, mm -hmm. right? Your free speech has basically inhibited my kid's constitutional rights. To what? Um, to live free from fear. That's not a constitutional right. Right. And I is I my child my child is not a state actor, so the the constitution is. For I know, state but actors. but. If, if I understand what you're that's, saying, but we need to. That's bullying. Yeah, that's yeah. bullying. That's yeah. not. Um, that's not. Well, a, it's also bullying. maybe more than that. It's right. But it's Verbal what we assault. want to talk about in this document. So, it's what we're we're not saying. I mean, obviously, if someone's constitutional rights are being violated, there's nothing. There's there's no disagreement. There's no nothing. There, everyone in this town is going to say, "You can't do that." Right. Uh, this is saying, if people are saying. Awful, bigoted, hateful things that are making your kids cry. We, as a board, can stand up and say, "You, as a board, you know, as a as a board, can say, we got your back, little kid." Right. right. That's we, the notion of what I'm trying to get at here. Um, and we su we support you. Let's yeah, and I think that that first sentence that we got from the meeting earlier in the week works nicely to balance that out. You know, someone wrote, and I, I don't know who it was, but that notion that this is a solution in search of a problem. And I understand that thought process. This would be easier. The word condemn is a strong word. So it's easier to imagine condemning something when you, when you have a real concrete thing, like we've had in communities around here. But hopefully this will never come to pass, right? That's, that's our hope. But I think that there are, there are the, I mean, what, what, what I see this document speaking to are those people who may be part of an ethnic minority, a religious minority, who might be, you know, transgender and afraid to go to the bathroom at the high school, or, or, or a variety of, of kind of um, folks who, who the heightened rhetoric of the day may feel fearful. Now, something might not have happened to them yet. Um, it might not have been a, a, an incident. But I think the whole purpose of, of this is it's a document that basically says to the community um, that it's not the powerful that we want to protect because powerful are protecting themselves. It's those who, f who, who feel unsafe and vulnerable. And that it's a, it's a preemptive, proactive affirmation that town government understands that there may be people who feel like that. And um, that's why they write a, 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 anonymous letters. 
Remember the discussion we had to work on? Oh, that was, oh, that was the guy who wrote it. Um, I don't know yeah. anybody who does that, but I know people who do that are too afraid of having some kind of retribution. I don't know. That was a pretty hateful letter to me. Well, I, um, well <laughs> you know? sometimes people have courage strong, behind yeah. at home yeah. and they don't have Throwing courage. grenades under the light of you know, yeah. the no, darkness. Not, so. I don't even know what it was. As I, I you know, I'm just saying that's why people write. But, but I think that this is... This document is basically to say to those people who may be fearful out there that um, the times that we're living in. And the other thing, too, I think this needs to be dated, have a date on it, because what it really is, it's a statement of time about what's going on today. Um, dated. Dated. Yeah, dated. Sorry. Um, because, you know, because it's a, snap, it's a snapshot in time as well. Like why, well. Why are we writing this now? And I think, you know, acknowledging the fact that, you know, that we live in, in, in turbulent times where, where, where rhetoric is heightened, people feel unsafe, um, and that we recognize that. Right? We may not say, you know, obviously if, if there's an incident, we have to, the police department will work on it. But the thing is that, is that it, it's, a, it's a proactive, preemptive document. That basically lets folks know who think that well maybe no one cares about me because I'm a Sikh or I'm a Muslim or I came here from Iran or whatever. That town governments proactively said, <clears throat> yes, we we acknowledge that and we will stand up against it when it happens. I think that that's, is think that the is that kind of that's how I see it and and I and I see that as a valid. Um, Statement that's of any elected it, official in a town at any time. Right, and that's why we we've called it. We've used the word, you know, aspirational document because it is. It aspires to that, and it is that. And if if there were a situation where in you know at Reading Town Day, let's say, um, someone were to to come. To the Human Relations Advisory Committee booth with who knows what materials, yelling. Um, Let me ask a hypothetical. Names. Suppose they had a booth and were well behaved and had materials that would be viewed by some segments of the community as offensive. What's the position of those holding these views towards that individual? What kind of <clears throat> An individual who's otherwise polite and not disruptive um, goes to town day and has a booth and presents printed material that might be viewed as offensive. What is the posture of those that hold this view? Like, that, like a Nazi party? Um, well, that, like a, well, that could be an example. It could be anything. It could I be mean, their Offensive is such a general word. Yeah, I'm just trying to think um, down. I think a Nazi thing is a good example because it's something that everybody would kind of So like lowercase kkk being group odious. shows up. Um, it could be a political view that's contrary to the majority. It could be a social view that's contrary to the majority. It could be a religious view that's contrary to the majority. It could be a um, cultural view that's contrary to the majority. I, I don't want to be specific because the examples end up degrading because of the, specific, the nature of the example. But imagine that they're in the minority, but they hold a view that's controversial. Being in the minority is, I think, different from something that is... flagrantly, and everyone agrees, is bigoted, perhaps. And if, if you saw it, you said, I'm, this, is, this is terrible. And me, as a, as a board of selectmen member, everyone understands that this is maybe their right to be here, but it doesn't mean that we have to say it's great. Those are different things. We can say it's great that you have the right to do this. We don't have to say it's. We love that you're saying that. We think this is great. But Gina, we don't have to look. say anything about anyone else's opinion. No, that's the thing. Right. So Gina, let me add on to what you're saying. And I agree. There's a choice to just be like, okay, they're well behaved. I don't like the KKK, so I'm mm -hmm. not going to that table. But another, this might end up being. Um, 
in this circumstance, this document can be in a toolkit where, okay, look at this, Reading Town Fair table people, because you have to register and pay, of course. Oh, dear God, we have the KKK coming to set up a table in Reading. Okay. Then there's fair choices to be made. They have every right to be here. They have to pay for a fee, but if they have every right to be there, if they have every right to be here. But then there can be an action, another table set up, right next door, perhaps, that offers a different point of view. But I asked a very specific question. What would the I, posture be of somebody who hold, hold this, these views towards that individual? Not would you, well, what would you do to respond, but, but if, what should the attitude of the town be, or mm -hmm. town officials that hold this view towards that? And I'm being ambiguous because I, I may not be the Nazi party. It might be somebody that, it might be any controversial view or any minority held view, and there's no shortage of them in this current culture. So. Um, or majority help you, for that matter. What, what I think I'm struggling what with... What do you think you would do? Like, would you have any power to stop it at, at, at that community event as a board of select? I don't know what the charter of the town fair group is. I right. would think that if they are a 501c3 or they're um, otherwise legal and they meet the criteria, I'm not sure how you could stop them. Right. Okay, so exactly. Which yeah, happens and a lot. That's, right. So you, but the question you would is, allow them to follow all of their rights. But would but, I condemn them? Well, and what I hope that this document does is maybe that's a conversation down the road, right? Maybe we think of as a town if we get hit with something like this, what is our response? Well, no, this and says we know, will. We will. We. This is an action. We yeah. will condemn. If it's undermining, right? I mean, there is a failure. If somebody's coming in, setting up a table, saying, "We want all of the immigrants in this town to go away," right. that's, that's that their undermines charter. our neighborhoods. Boom. You could say, "Hey, you know what? We like our immigrants here, and we want to have their back, and 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 we respect their right to stand on this corner and do that, but we're not going to embrace it." We need to make it more personal. In some ways, you're trying to encourage people of conscience, and I understand that. But we need to make the assumption that people do have a conscience already. I and think I've been in situations where I have seen things that are inappropriate and have been very um, incendiary, can be incendiary, <coughs> viewed as incendiary. And sometimes just a quiet word with someone will say, That's not, this is not really the right place for this. It's, it's you know, some, something else or whatever. And they know that you don't approve, but you don't have to get in their face, and I'm going to report you to the police and all this and that. And I think a lot of times we shy away from those little situations that are not earth-shattering. They don't need a document or whatever. But when another person is greeted from with another person, there's a human contact there that takes away some of the, the stiffness of the situation. And, and I think we're confused, all in agreement with you on that. And... From an individual point of view, I think all of us agree. But this is working at a different level because it's it's working, you know, sort of as a town document. And that's where the concern of other people are. And because you're trying to let me just to finish my thought. Them. And is less about, and I understand John's question, but it's it's more about speaking to people in this community who might need to hear hey, little kid, we've got your back, or whatever. And less about we're going to be, you know, scolding every point. Right, we're not the thought absolutely police. Absolutely not. And we changed right. the, the entire goal. tone of this. I hope you appreciate what right. we did do. Well, some of it, but some of it is We worked not, so okay. hard over the last two days. I but promise okay. you. <laughs> well, this goes, back to, this goes back to what's the desired outcome. We could work together on a single document that's constructed out of our group hands maybe with pieces of this. We could take a document, as you've done tonight, and pass judgment on bits and pieces. We could leave this as it is, as a statement of the five and the 200 and whatever signatures, and come up with a complementary document that um, reflects the elements here that the five members are comfortable with. But I, I don't think, as we stand here tonight, 
I, I can't imagine that five individuals, let alone town council, would would accept this. And it's, it's, it, and it's no bearing on the le on the level of effort you put in. You guys are obviously passionate right, about what you do. In some ways, um, you know, back to your little your example about the little kid. It's if a child's being bullied, then you deal with it as a bullying incident. I don't know if you take the power of government and go to the child and start picking winners and losers. There clearly has to be a resolution of the problem, but it's not our job. To the problem, not making it a big, bigger Okay, problem. and again, I think that I see that as step two. Like, I see this as step one, and I, and we, we, I feel like we, we dug into this conversation a lot at the beginning of the week of, like, words and actions, and we're putting the words out there, and I hope that that starts a conversation to figure out what does that mean, what what are we going to do on a t if something happens next week, what is the response? How are we going to support these people? And that's and I think that's a bigger conversation. But that's and a personal thing. It's it's not on one, one level. To make it a sure. Well, it's but it is a community. It's it's sure, so there's a one-on-one -on -one issue, right? Me and my neighbor. My neighbor like right to talk about it, but when it's happening here, and it's happening in this community next door, and it's happening up the street, but we don't and have it's any control over any of that. It becomes a community yes, yeah, issue. We don't have any control. That no, is another no, level. Oh, we do. Really, you're right. We don't. We don't have control of what people How are going to think or going to do or what they're going to say. That's why we try to be good neighbors so right. that you, other people, will get the idea that they need to be a good neighbor too. Right. Because if they're not, they're going to stand sure. up. But, but something here. has changed. What a, what a, There's a totally different animal out there right now. What is? What do you mean? With the the hate incidents are just on the rise. Yeah. Just like this is beyond it's just an individual one off. It, this is January. this is a, a wave going through all communities around. So but we need to elevate a, yeah, it up to the next level. It, it's a national breakdown of respect civility. and trust and civility. Yes. Um, and and you know without without putting names on it, um, you know that well, it, it basically cover. Well. You know it's been just covered. The, the political process has given it cover. Um, no one will argue against the fact that the proliferation of, of, of hate speech and acts have increased across the entire country. Right. No one can deny that. And no one can say, well, it doesn't happen in Reading. It only happens in Wakefield or Stone. I mean, okay. it's or out Wakefield there. Or... And so, and, and not only is it out there, there are people in this community who are fearful, right? They're not going to raise their hands, right? They're not going to basically call attention to themselves, but they were poor. The thing that the school, you know, that, 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 that those wonderful high school students Aren't they great? Um, you know, just sort of putting out a general survey. And basically, it, was, it wasn't scientific. Have you witnessed or have you felt it, right? And it wasn't zero, right? It was it was there. So whether we want to acknowledge but it or not. But, but from, a, from a high school perspective of having three kids in there at one time, one time, three kids, you find out what's really going on in school, and it was it was pervasive. Right? But it's a, but it's a, it's not just a school thing. It's it, it's reflective of the old. And overall. what they think is everything everything is blown up because I, of the. Right. Uh, but sure, the even is, take the schools right. aside from but it. But the thing is, is that even even if you can't prove it, even even if you don't have data that says, well, there's 75 people that came to the police department in the last 12 months to complain that you know somebody called them a name or you know. Make disparage their, I mean, even if you don't have that data, right? You could make the leap that what's going on in the country is happening. Extrapolate. Okay, and so therefore, I look at this as a selective, right? Not as a human being, right? Because because that's my role here, right? I mean, I'm, I'm, how do I how do I sort of respond as a selective, right? And I think. What you guys are trying to do is you're acknowledging that it's there, um, and affirming that we have an obligation to basically protect the most vulnerable. Now, whether that word says condemn or stand up to, I mean, we can parse those words, um, but I think that 
if the document is designed to basically let those people out there who are not at this table, who will never be at this table, right, to, to, know, to, take, to be able to exhale and say, you know what, if anything happens, the Reading Board of Selectmen, the town leaders have basically said that that's not going to be acceptable. They can breathe a little bit easier. Now, does that mean that there's going to be an incident down the road? No, but what it gives people is comfort. And, and, and if it does that, right, it doesn't mean that it's taking away something from somebody else, right? You know, it's, we're not take, you know, it's not taking away free speech. It's not taking away uh, the right to assemble or to say anything. We're not, there's, you know, if you're protecting the most vulnerable, even if it's something that's maybe waiting to happen, right, you're still not, it's not a zero-sum game. It's not a pie that you're dividing up. Basically, it's not taking away anything from somebody. And if it gives those people comfort, um, then you know what? I, I'm happy as a political leader to put my name to it. Now, the words, I, I think we can still work on those. But that, that's how I view well, kind of what well, we're doing. You're going to the place I was, which is do we want to make this a joint exercise to come up with uh, concepts? And then you can turn those into prose later. This, right? You're, you're describing a concept, and maybe we find a way to put words around that as a group. And by definition, if you're all in, then, it, then you're building it as you go along. Yeah, I mean, the, I, I mean, that's, I mean, that's the, con I mean, that, that's the concept I thought of what I thought was generally driving, you know, the effort. Um, and, and, and just sort of, I want, I think it's, you know, the piece of paper is fine, right? But, but what actions are going to spur from it? For example, is the Board of Selectmen going to work harder now with the Human Rights Advisory to, to, to get that going? Because it's not just going to be the Selectmen that work on this. Are we going to work with the police department? Are we going to work with the schools to come up with? I mean, what it is, it's, it's sort of laying out, like, okay, we're going to stand up against this. But also, you know, what that leads to is, you know, uh, a commitment to do this, 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 this. And when things do arise, right? When because it's going to get ugly sometime. Maybe, I hope it doesn't. I pray it doesn't. But when it does, you know, we have the courage to stand up and just say, you know, that's not right. And whether that's the word is condemn, I, I don't know how to say it, but that's how I know I would feel. Because um, so, that's how someone would come to me and say, you know, you're my elected leader. This just happened. Right. You know, what? What do you? What? Do, how are you going to help me? Sure. And I think that that can come next. Um, and I know that we do feel strongly about calling it out and condemning it. I think that the easy thing to do, and that any town would love to do, is to kind of pat itself on the back and have a document that says, we are good people, right. and of course welcoming we do this, and, and of course we're welcoming, and of course all this. What's the step up is to say, this isn't okay. And that is going to be the bold statement. That is going to be the statement that makes this worth something. And not just something. Otherwise, every no. every community well, around can, can. One of the statements you're making in your document, that I'd like to criticize and object to, is inherently discriminatory. That's on line six of the and that is inherently discriminatory. Um, you talk about gender, race, religious, religion, natural origin, sexual orientation, gender identity. I would strongly suggest you delete sexual orientation and gender identity. Those and may be in. That's, that's from it's the probably in the state, Gary. Yeah, I don't care. We're talking running now. No, we, <laughs> it, no, no, we have to follow. But, but I, I'm I, saying, if you really value something that's going to prevent minorities from being discriminated against or harmed. You can't discriminate against religious views. It, I'm sure all of you are aware that many Christians object to things like same-sex sex, same-sex same marriage. Sure, and that's why religion is in there. Their and those are protected identity. under the Constitution right yeah. now. So, you know, yeah, we're not, we're we're not, not litigating that here. Yeah, no, we I'm can't litigate that. So I'm asking that we as a town go so ahead. So we can, we can take out as a community and say, 
you could, if, if it was a Board of Selectmen document, you could say the Board of Selectmen embrace all who live and work here. But I think, I think as a community, we do, and we've had, well, and, and we've he demonstrated. Disagrees. You know, <laughs> yeah, but I he mean, disagrees that he does not no, want no, to do that. No, but here's the problem. Then <laughs> somebody is going to disagree with everything. Those issues, those issues, right, have to do with a person's personal business. And whether we, whether, the question really is this, do we think those belong in the public, uh, uh, in the public arena? Because what happens is a case of discrimination like David Parker in Lexington. What happened to him? I'm sure you can all tell me. It was outlandish, it was criminal. He was put in jail simply because he went to a school committee, uh, he went to a, a school department and told them, look, I don't want to be discriminated against. Don't teach my kids about sexuality without notifying me ahead of time so that I can review what kind of indoctrination you're giving my child. What was the response? Do you recall? No. He was, he was arrested. He was arrested. He was arrested. So and he was finally driven I, out I, of his home. I need to, I need just to, to finish my thought, please, okay. if I can. Oh, okay. Sorry, as, as you ahead. asked earlier, what I might <laughs> yeah. do for you. He was ultimately driven out of town because of the hate speech that emanated from one student after another after another as he saw his kids being ostracized. So I, I'm suggesting that if you wish to have a really kind, put, put a kind face on your motives here, remember that we Christians, my wife and I might feel a little differently about this, we Christians, a lot of us, see that a lot of us are being coerced into indoctrination, into a, a whole set of sexual values that many of us disagree with. Now, I'll guarantee you that they will come when they propose that state money be used to indoctrinate kids in our public school system to say, look, this way of life is okay, when some of us say it's not, and then do so at taxpayer money. I'm sure you could all object to that. Am I, do I... Do you agree? You know what? I don't want to have that conversation tonight because I, I hear what you're saying, but that's another well, whole conversation. That's my rationale for these are two, these are two. our state laws, so, and we stand by them. Well, I think so, what Ga Gary's saying is something that's slightly different. I think what he's saying is they may be state laws; they'd be enforced right. under the state, but they may not be held as a view by every individual in the state. Of course. And so this is an example of. Um, the language ends up being counter to what some of the members in the. It kind of demands group think that we all have to think alike about this well, by being so specific in here. I'm sorry, it says, as a community, we welcome and embrace all those who live here, regardless of whether they're gay. I mean, if, you're, if your neighbor were, were gay and something bad happened to them, I think you would still invite them over for tea. We talked about having someone over yeah. for tea. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And that's what this is speaking right. to. It's, it's not like you're endorsing what they're what they're doing or not. But you're saying other, something bad happened to you. And but I, the other perspective from some people is you need to do this. You you need to because no, but a person's sexuality. Yeah. Is a That's why I think the last the, the last sentence in this is that it, it adds some adds some color to it because we we do this not because we have to. No one's telling us, but because it's who we are. Those are our values. But that's, that's right. Values. right. And, but, but, but we're not asking every individual person in this community Correct. to sign off on this. Correct. We are asking elected yes. leaders right. who have a right to their. And you know what? They represent all of you. And if and if and five people pass then, it, then then next time you you vote for somebody who who supports whatever okay. document and you're going to put out. And divide in the community and goes against what you're trying to do. I do Can think, I, I do think though, Linda, we're obligated to stand up for state law. It, it, our right. personal, right. Barry said it earlier, when we walk into the room, already, we take off our own hat and put on the board of the... You already have a mission statement on town policies and We do, we do. But, but narrowly around the question of can you take exception to these classes, in the terms of, of supporting and uh, executing and safeguarding the town's uh, laws and citizens, we, we're bound and determined to support what the state does. It may differ from... Right. It could potentially differ. It's already from. in your thing. It says, welcomes and embraces all residents and visitors regardless of gender, race, color, religion, national origin. Right. It comes right out of the state regs. And that, that's what it is. Disability or any other protected class right. status. Right. That's in our um, policy Simple. statement. It's just reiterating right. that. And, 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 and sometimes 
reiterating what you already have is a powerful thing, right? Because it was in, you know, I'll be honest with you. I'm a selectman now for two years. I can't remember that. I think I when did you actually get elected? Was it last year this time? I think it was like April of... Yeah. No, it has to. It has to be two years. Yeah, because I got because I ran. Yeah, so I had to reelect. Yeah, so it's now two years. You took up for Marcy, right? Yeah. Okay, that's why I'm off by a year. Okay. So it's two years. Linda, I read the I read the stuff maybe when I was running. I haven't looked at it since. That doesn't mean that we don't follow it, but I mean, so no, and that's that's my point with this. Right. What so is this, is this a, for? So it kind of just to say we did it. It's, it's it not. Calls, I feel attention. like we've had. I, I I feel like we have hashed that out. And I, I would like to go back to just with with the document that we we did wholeheartedly and very thoughtfully revise based on our last discussion here. And I just I want you all to know that we, we took it very seriously and I, I hope that it shows in our work. Um, I ignored my children for the two days <laughs> no, <laughs> to it, do it. it and you so did, you guys did take I, right. you, I just want to find out from the selectmen because those are the folks who are going to need to vote on this. So I want to hear specifically from the selectmen if there are things other than uh, which we've which we talked about the the condemning the the words that sentence there and possibly the last sentence. If we took the last sentence out of play in that um, an attack on one will be viewed as an attack on all. If we took that out of play and we took out the sentence before that. I'm wondering if there are concepts or specific language that are sticking points that you see for either the two of you or if you have a thought about the five so that we can sort of tailor our focus. You know, I don't know that we're going to come to a, a consensus necessarily on the, the condemning versus not condemning, but I'd like to hear the sort of other points that we would need to also address. Yeah, this is a finished body of work, so it's tough to take issue with bits and pieces of it because it's already knit together and the pie is baked um, to mix analogies. The, um, I'd, I'd be inclined to state in the affirmative what rights and responsibilities the board has to the citizens of the town and the enforcement actions it has through the police, fire, and um, what, it, what it does in the, in the form of a re response in case of an incident occurs. Okay. It's really hard. I, while it's natural for us as humans to say things like we recognize our own histories are shaped by the immigrant experience and we welcome new neighbors wherever they, it's not the role of the board of selectmen. I might even agree with you at a human level. I would agree with you at a human level, but it's not what the board does. I think it is. I think we have a fundamental disagreement yeah. on that. I think it is. Because, and I think people at, yeah, uh, leaders at all level of is. government have, have, have recognized that it's their role to to do something similar. I would say it differently. We have a responsibility to keep Reading um, safe. Yes. To keep it um, comfortable to the best of our ability, to listen to our our voters, and to the to a degree consensus can be formed. Um, respond to consensus at all times being compliant with state and federal law. That's, that's the overarching umbrella principle. Mm -hmm. The specifics, I think, is where you get into trouble because you're actually, I just don't see this getting past five individuals. I, I'm, I'm trying to walk through the rest of the room. Barry, you may feel differently. Okay, but is it, is it only fair for community members to ask elected officials to do something that's easy or that we know is agreeable. You can only ask them right? what's in their job description. We not, might be okay asking, in other words, for a vote. Sorry? We might be okay, in other words, for asking for a vote. But my if desire, it doesn't pass, it doesn't pass. My desired outcome is not to crash and burn. My yeah. desired outcome is to find middle ground. I'm not interested in getting a, a zero five vote. That doesn't. Yeah. I just wasted three nights. But what you just said was that you might be interested in adding language in the inf affirmative enforcement language. That's no. Not I didn't something. say that at all. Oh. I said the, the spirit. The spirit of what, what the spirit of what I might tend to include are things along those lines. But th those aren't literally the words. Oh, because um, I just wrote those down because that's I, um, I was struggling with that.
I guess I'm stuck. I'm. I think. Would you, you like? Would you like to? In indoors. I mean, does it feel more comfortable? I mean, is that what you're well, the straight, thinking? The straightforward way at this point is leave this as it is and ask the board to develop its own statement that adopts as many or as few of these things as it, in its own words that it thinks it can support. That, I think, gets you 90% or 80% of what you want. It's not a signature on the bottom of the page, but it's a complementary statement to the degree the board can. You guys can say whatever you want. Um, I, I've got to worry about getting it through, and Barry's got to worry about getting it through five people and town council and the town manager. And, and yes, there will be edits. I'm sure that, yes, there will be edits. Um, I think that the other way to do it is you end up with two pieces of paper that are in different voices because they're different groups of people and they have different regulations and comfort levels. But not but necessarily I don't think saying we're, different things. Not necessarily yeah. saying different things. Well, they may they, they may say things differently. Well right. and are you motivated? I mean if we if we if we left, the three of us left and we went back to our little lives <laughs> didn't come to nighttime well, government so anymore. <laughs> um Did we start enough of a conversation where you would feel like that's something you wanted to do? I if, if the three of us left the picture, what, yeah. what do you think would would happen? I mean, I think just speaking for myself, I, I, I'm, I am incredibly grateful for getting to the point where we are right now. For you know, John and myself to be here representing the board, trying to come up with a, you know, the Reading Board of Selectmen response to the messed up world that we're, you know, that we're in. I mean, again, we deal with, you know, potholes, police officers, teachers, you know, garbage, right? I mean, that's what we do. And this is, get, this is kind of asking us to kind of take a step back and think about leadership in a different way. And how could that be bad? Um, especially when it's I, relevant. I think it's not because it's good or bad. I think the good thing that concerns me is that you people are being asked to do something that is not your role. This is really a human rights thing, more of a thing, because the selectmen are the town fathers, and they're responsible for well, maybe we'll have a mother on there one of those days. We, we, town, did, we did have a mother. She several, left. We've had several. We've had several. Yeah. But, Sally, but right. my point the is, Monday, you're day being day. asked to step right. out of your left bane role as making every, sure everything's legal, that the town warrant is absolutely yeah. proper, that the budget's balanced, and then a group of people who've been working together think that we need to add something else to that, and they're trying to put something in, a, a puzzle piece, that is not in the same puzzle. And they're trying, and that's where people are getting a little so, miffed and a little weary so about. Let ask, so let me ask you this. Tonight. Was she coming? Let me ask she you this. Oh. Right. This is this is this is different, right? But you know, if it, if I you don't live want the selectmen to be doing well, wait a this. I, I mean, want them to do their other. No, well, the, but other know, people okay. consider this the role. But, of right, lots it's of people. Not, it doesn't oh, matter what we think. Right? It's, Can I just no, say that that's not there are several towns in Massachusetts who have boards of selectmen who have taken this upon themselves to do. I don't want you to think that we are reinventing the wheel. I'll read one as short one as an example from Canton, Massachusetts. In the interest of community union, unity and tolerance, the Board of Selectmen condemns any acts of discrimination on the basis of race, color, religion, national origin, gender identity, sex, sexual orientation, age, or disability, including all forms of religious intolerance, misogyny, homophobia, xenophobia, racism, and bullying, cyber, or otherwise. Further, the Board of condemns any acts of violence targeted at police officers or first responders. Accordingly, the Board asks all citizens of Canton to work together, regardless of political party affiliation, to continue to ensure Canton, Massachusetts, and the United States remain peaceful and proud places to live. They stepped out of their role. Belmont just did it the other day. Right. Two what days ago, three Right, these ago. are community leaders. Right. See, Linda, that's, that's, but that, that's the thing. They're allowing themselves to be politicized. But they, I they, they, have, not a, they don't have to vote for already it, though. I bet you the people, the, 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 the select, I, I, can, I, I wasn't there, and I don't know who any of them are. But I can pretty much guarantee you when the selectmen maybe got in the room and started talking about this, nobody really wanted to do it, but they sort of felt like people are asking us to be leaders. And, you know, and, and all that really does 
that doesn't say anything about limiting anybody's speech. What it says is that we're going to stand up for what's right. And, and maybe maybe they did it because, you know, folks came to them because they feel powerless on the state and federal level. But they can, but they know they're selective because they their kid plays baseball. And the selectmen are going to do what? But you know, but the, you can also, you can it's going to make people question. feel safer. Maybe. So it's a feel good move that Maybe. can cause a lot of division and a lot of concern. Is, is I, there anything? It's, really it's, good but I feel like I just feel like we keep coming back to the Monday's conversation because I feel like we've gone through all this. It's not resolved. I feel like the community. It's not resolved. You may be thoroughly convinced, but it's your job because you're bringing a new subject into an area that's never been before. It's your job to be um, to get people to agree with you. No, but our job here, here is the five of us were asked to develop a document. Chairman Holby asked us to meet offline right. and develop a document. Because he did not was, say to us. Because there was an expectation in a public meeting in front of everyone that this is something you wanted done. No, I think the expectation was He could have said no, absolutely. They had 200. No, he could have said right, no. Let, let absolutely, when 200 he could have said no. People come to the Board of Select in <laughs> one form or another. We're, we're, we're required to act. Now, we could just say, no, we're not doing it. That's an act. That's an act. Yeah, but we're required right. to act, and we there was there was spirited conversation that night. We didn't all agree. I think Linda's point is maybe slightly different. There's, there may be a diversity of opinion on this, and how do you account for the next group of three or four hundred that comes in and says, right. you know, that document you signed last it's week? It's like special interest. Group you shouldn't have done that. Everybody. Here's our list of, of beliefs. Would, would you issue a supportive statement? And that's the line we need to walk. Is where does what we say infringe on the, the, the views of others? And it's a view. Some of these are views. And they're subjective. It's perfectly fine to provide support to via the police, fire, social services, elder services, to a group in town or a community in town that's got an identified problem. That's a reaction. Right. Um, it's hard to come up with a proactive example. And the Nazi one is easy because nobody really likes Nazis. But um, the other ones are much harder. If you have... Um, Suppose you had the Palestinians come into town and suddenly take a, a posture relative to Israel or relative to Jews outside Israel. That's a really tough one. Fortunately, we don't tend to have that problem. But there's very little you could do because they're citizens, they pay taxes, they vote. Um, they have so, so completely oil and water kind of opinions. So one of the things that we might do is encourage, you know, either through the library or the schools or the Human Relations Advisory Committee to do, you know, uh, a, a thing where... People get to present that you know it, it becomes an educational kind of thing. I mean, there are there are ways that, that leaders can kind of you know we're not gonna we're not gonna legislate uh, or or negotiate you know the world view you know world view. Well, even within the town of Reading, there's almost nothing we can do. No, well, and there's not to say that there's going to be a specific action that comes out of every single thing, right? Right. I mean, you could come up with limitless examples. This is part one. We don't have to act on anything, right? We can use it as a conversation to decide which type of things we might act on this is, and how that might look in the future. What is this isn't this isn't saying, therefore, these are our actions in every single example that might come come by us. What did you mean when you said this is step one? What 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 would a step two look like, for example, that follows? I'm trying to understand what step two would be a, a conversation a conversation what what oh, role oh, okay. should eight track have All in right. the town um if there's a huge display of if the kkk comes if there's a you, you big mean in Nazis terms of a response of, there, yeah maybe that's it. a maybe okay. maybe that's a conversation could you do me a favor and use sexual orientation and gender identity as your example instead of the kkk for instance for instance what i'm getting at here is <clears throat> I'm sure that Massachusetts state law also regards the right of religious beliefs and freedom and practice. What we see as a trend in our society that's a danger and destructive and discriminatory is the increased indoctrination of our children in a set of a value system that's optional. So we have to be careful that any action of the selectmen is not seen as an endorsement. I don't care what Massachusetts, I have a right to say. I don't care what the laws of Massachusetts said. There are equivalent or higher laws that say a person's religious rights 
are, are, are to be held in high regard. We are not to have a state that controls the religious beliefs and practices. And we're not asking them to. No, no, we're no, not asking no, them to. No, this you are when it's instituted in our public education system. But we're not, we're not talking we're about not, that tonight. That's totally no, separate. No, what I'm saying, John, I'm not saying, uh, all I'm saying is this is that just that it might be someone's right to go ahead and make a choice about their own personal values does not mean we have to go ahead and, and, and uh, give this what begins to look like an endorsement. Yes, these people are going to be protected to choose whatever they want for their personal lifestyle. But this is also being used as a vehicle to indoctrinate all of society and intimidate people into in society into accepting the value system. And you have to be careful of that. If you people really are sensitive to our religious values, you have to realize that a lot of these words are being used like a mask to camouflage a whole set of agendas that's coercing others to accept their personal choices for their life. And, and they're discriminated against harshly. Again, David, whatever. I, I appreciate yeah. that. I, I just want to circle back. I, I appreciate yeah. your passion, and, and I just want to circle back to the to the our, our path. <laughs> What's going to happen from here? And Gina, it you sounds... asked a question, and Barry answered it, but I'd like to hear from John's point of view about the same question. What's the question? Whether you would, if we walk, if we stepped away from this right. this would activity. This be a continued goal of the five members. I think you'd have board. a follow-up conversation, which given you'd have folks representing themselves, you'd probably get to consensus a little quicker. Right now, we're acting as kind of proxies for a filter. Right, but what I'm asking, or what I would like to hear... Is this something that we would consider it, well, a valid uh, right. piece of work? Right. Or is it, yeah, is it a... Now that we've, I guess, started the discussion the in town, rolling. is yeah. it something that you see having on your agenda is something that you would develop your words, the, the, the authorship, you know, pride of authorship. Do you see that? And I'm, I'm really just asking as a, yes, I as do. An, I, I, an interest. I'm here because I don't want to let this drop and I don't want the efforts of 300 people to come to a screeching halt. And at the same time, I'm trying to find a way to thread the needle. If you said, here's our thoughts written in the hand of the five or six, would you go back and see if the five of you can develop a complementary document or a document of your own design and make it either part of your policy or make it part of on the website or make it something that you guys uh, pro proclaim formally. I think there'd be support for that, actually. What's the hard part, let me, let me, and this may sound very impolite, I don't mean to sound that way, but, but I think one of the problems with, this, with the vehicle that's in front of us is this is written in your hand and in your voice. Imagine for a moment I wrote it in my voice, or Gary wrote it in his voice, or Barry wrote it in his voice, you'd see it, it, it wouldn't be the words you choose, it'd feel foreign. The concepts might be there buried on the page, but it just reads different. Mm -hmm. But I think, to answer your question directly, I think absolutely the group would sit down. When? It'd probably end up being a, a Saturday session. I don't think we'd do it during the board, because it, it's really hard to do in that setting. We'd probably get a Saturday morning grab a cup of coffee, come into this room, and spend an hour or two trying to bang it out. So I think that's interesting information. Why? I'm, Why is it interesting? No, it's valuable. It's yeah. good to know. Um, my next, and now I'm going to sound impolite, and I don't mean to. Sure. But you are five white men. Bless your hearts. You do a job that is a very tough job. You're of a certain age. Bless your hearts. And, well, and I'll leave Kevin, he's, okay. I would encourage you to understand that, therefore, the five of you sitting around with coffee around the table or whoever else is part, that there is a limited, built-in, somewhat limited conversation that can then perhaps happen. So I would encourage you then to ask the Human Relations Advisory Committee to work with you on I'm not on following that. that I'm not. Since they are an advisory committee right. for the government so, of Reading. I, let me respond to that. I, I, my, I'm actually olive skinned. I come from Sicily, my grandparents. I'm thick headed sometimes. You calibrate. See? <laughs> I'm um, married to one. I know the type. Um, I work with inter international people all over the world. I have. Malaysians and Indians and Singaporeans and Chinese and Taiwanese and it's one big toss salad. 
So while I may carry a skin color on my face and hands, at a personal level, I'm used to working with folks that are all different time zones and all different cultures. Right. And uh, there's a certain sensitivity I get out of that. Um, it's amazing what they'll tell me. You know, in Chinese, they call me guelo, which means white wolf. Um, they have another disparaging term, which escapes me. The Taiwanese have another term. It, they don't view it as racism. They just view it as a descriptor. You uttered a word the other night in our uh, meeting, and they would utter a similar word against me. And it's not, it's more like, um, hey, idiot, come over here, kind of. It's more of a, a, a half loving, half insult kind of a term. Native American. And, um, Did I call you white bull? No. <laughs> I call everybody the, white um, bull. All these cultures have got their own built in biases. And I think the most valuable part is just, fi frankly, talking to people. It's, it's not even trying to institute behavior changes, it's just getting to know them at a human level. Sure. Yep. And I think Agreed. that the strength of this document is that we did just that. We took it to the community. Yeah. We talked to people of different faiths, different cultures, different sexualities, and this is the product of it. Yep. And I think that that adds a power to it that while you all may have you know, your own personal connections, right. that the diversity that we got to put into this, there's a power to that that is bigger than five people sitting around a table. Five white women sitting around a sure. table. Yeah, and that's which is what, what, I, what I, that, I brought that up at the last meeting too. So some group. It, it sounds like even and I just want to make it make it clear. Just, um, just, yeah, I, I, I'm just straightforward. Speak. Yeah, you well, won't because, hurt my feelings. Because for me, can we go back to the um, minutes from last Previously? meeting? Previously? Yeah. Uh, where are they? Here they are. Or maybe even, um, yeah. So, down a little bit more. So, group would be okay with a revision of the original statement or okay with an independent statement by the board. I feel like we did A. We revised the heck out of this thing <laughs> right. based on our thing. And we're still being told we have to do B also. And I feel disappointed. I feel like maybe I was led astray. <laughs> because if we go back to, because it's not A or B, it's but going to be A and B. I, I took revision to be a group revision, that we would work on it together. That's what I thought. I took revision to be. We're, we are going to revise, not the group of five is going to revise and come back and say, that's what I thought revision to be. We could work as a group, or we could take your body of work and come up with a complementary one. Okay. And can we go, I remember you had a slide that yes. had a list, and I just wanted to, uh, I didn't what really did it, look did, that hard at what it. What did I, I do with it? I'm sure it was great, but I, <laughs> I didn't get to copy it. Where is it? Is this it? It's a PowerPoint, right? Is this it? It was, yeah, I think it was your think Won't your PowerPoint. Open Where is it? Is here? No, that's a Word document. What can I do with it? One moment. Do you remember which was slide? What was it called? Resolution? It was, um... Oh, here it is right here. Sorry. Resolution. PPTX. It doesn't show it. And there was a... So this was, this was kind of teeing up the discussion. Yeah. We talked about ground rules. We talked yeah. about desired outcome. And then there was something that had a list of sort of just brief concerns. It was right. this is it? this yeah. is these were my opinions. Yeah, yeah. I, I, did, I didn't get to see it last time because I was. I guess I must have been talking. <laughs> um, so I just wanted to. to so this was the original doc. My thoughts were it really wasn't a product of yep. the board. Right. But yeah, I was being asked by your voice as if it was. Yep. There were statements of fact in the whereas that were not accurate. For example, it's not clear that all residents are upholding right. human rights. So, yeah. That goes to some people just don't have the same opinion. Right. Yep. We don't have the authority to direct um, right. other elected officials. Took that. We okay. have no authority to direct fire and safety other than to appoint them, but we don't have any authority on conduct. We can, we can work with them, but we, can, we, can't, we can't direct them. Correct. Correct. Um, and my only my own opinion is we had to celebrate the exercise of free speech, not try to limit judge it. And then there was a reference to acts or words of indifference. Mm -hmm.
one of the problems is our, our, our country and our nation is built on the prince, premise of a moral society that we conduct ourselves because we're moral people. I'm not saying uh, necessarily what moral is, but there's a built-in desire to, to do good and the evil therefore becomes a fraction of the problem. This is almost describing that that whole culture is breaking down and somehow you've got to put other measures in place. God help us when that happens. I think, I think a lot of people have used it. That I it think is it is, down. yeah. And I think that that might be the, the, the um, maybe it's an, a bit of an unbridgeable gap. I think that what you just said articulates what a lot of people feel is happening. The and that, gave us that, which is why these resolutions started... I mean, they just started being written across the country no, did you, in, did you, did you in reaction to, to the spike of hate crimes that the Southern Poverty Law Center is, you know, documenting. I mean, it's quite remarkable. The, the, a year ago, or two years ago, three years ago, did you have envisioned that a group of citizens would come to the Board of Selectmen asking us to adopt something like this? Yeah, it was called the h -Rack. They were with us two years ago, and they and were that there. Was, that, was more, that was more of kind of... A, Doing a, uh, you know, setting up an organization in town that would work on these issues, but just sort of an ad hoc group coming together to ask us to denounce, you know, kind of out of the blue, not an organized thing. I, honestly, I, I wouldn't have thought so. I, I didn't think people would, would come to the door. You know, culture is definitely getting more diverse, and, and I mean culture with a small c. I mean. Um, You've got more and more people that are growing up in single-family households. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but having two parents is usually superior to having one. Um, you've got kids that don't necessarily make it through school, so they don't have the advantage of a post-secondary education. Um, and then you just and then you just throw in opioids and heroin just for kicks, mm -hmm. and uh, you've got a real crockpot there, right? There's not a lot of good that's going to come out of that. Well, there's a lot of other things that that are added to that. I mean, it's not, um, and recently it is the political climate. It's remarkable. I've never seen anything like it. I'm sure none of us have. But a lot of people do feel that, that this is not, again, this is not changing anything, but it's reaffirming what we hold to be True, as you said, this just this idea that we are moral and that we're not going to define it, but kind of if it's quacking and waddling, we know what it is, kind of thing. And it feels, I think, to a lot of people that it's out of whack. Why it's out of whack, other people, all good people, right. will have a different opinion. But I think we agree something's out of whack. The pr one issue, I, one word you said that I might take issue with is the, the concept of political. I don't know that it's the role of the town to take a posture about national political discussions. We can take. No, I don't want to take a posture so, on national political discussions. No, no, no. And I didn't mean to. That's we didn't do that. Okay. That's we, the umbrella we, that we're kind of working for, unfortunately. Political issues. In the river we're in is the we river we're individuals in. Individuals and our individual values are. The political issues are a reflection of that. I think we, I beg to think we all agree with that. So, but didn't anyway. all of this hate stuff come out of supposedly political issues? I think hate's been with us since, you know, the dawn of time things. Well, so it just seems like it's just, it just seems like in, it just seems in the last couple of years, that, or, you know, 18 months, it's basically been validated to be that it's okay. You know, it used to be that it wasn't validated to be okay, and now it's sort of. No, people Certain are, circles have gotten permission. And more things are becoming common, so it's not in the news right. anymore when parents of preschoolers have to fly down to their preschool in Framingham and get their kids out of there because there's another bomb threat. I mean, this is now sort of, I hate to say, is this becoming the new normal, but that's a devastating right. thought. You're seeing a breakdown of the culture. The These, in some way, this is not a problem. It's a symptom of a problem. Right. The, the problem is somewhere else, and this curing the symptom won't cure the problem. You're and, dealing with an amoral. And, and, and in Reading, no, we're not going to solve and this And right, problem. this isn't going to fix it. All we're going to be able to do is tell our citizens that there's a problem. Your leaders understand it, and you can feel safe here. Right. And 
We're so that's my, it that's sounds my, like we are we're closer diverging. Together. Well, we're closer together in some ways, and I think we're divergent in other ways. I think we're at an impasse. It sounds yeah. to me like the board wants to, which I think is great, yeah. take this document, the notes from the last two meetings and the last meeting, the board, and they can work on this document. Can what we decide to do with this is then that's... Right. It was originally your, do it was your document that you came... Right. And asked us I mean, to we are yeah. nothing in here. We didn't invent anything. We this is we this is an original doc. This is an off. original document of your own design. It's not borrowed. The, the, the words are obviously familiar. Well, some are right out of the places. state. I mean, yeah. come yeah. on, yes, you know, yes. gender identity. Some some more yeah, no, but this isn't. It. We didn't like Medford. erase Medford and put in red ink. No, exactly, exactly. No. Can you? Could you? Right. I may have it, but could you send me a? But we're happy to share a word doc of the original, so I, I don't have that for the first set of minutes. Oh, the whereas and the, the oh, whereas the wherefore. Yeah. 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 Just shoot me an email with a word doc. So I just want to get clear in the minutes. Oh yes, let's um, go back to those. Current what, minutes what, or last minutes? Current minutes, no, what the divergence is, and it sounds like the board is not comfortable adopting a document not in their voice, say, I, well, right? Not at their own hand. This is the old one, sorry, I and screwed up already. Well, the concept I'm, too of, I'm willing to, to throw it to a void to a vote at this point because it feels to put, the board is you know, well, let me time put wasted. let me put my well, no, I wouldn't say it's wasted at all. I, no, I mean bringing it to a vote. Um, I would say it the following. John said that, in his opinion, the document as written would likely not receive five votes of approval. That's not to say there. That is not to say that there are not. That's a double negative. That is to say that there are um, good ideas in, it. however, that certain construct certain uh, constructions present a problem for elected officials to. Just, I know one of them is the um, the condemning words and acts. The other, I forget what the other constructions. The, the, the last sentence in attack on one of the DW tobacco laws. Yeah, that that's. <clears throat> well, it even it, I mean I feel like to be cleaner we should just go back to the original one because this is I mean this was an academic exercise to try to. This is actually fine. Ameliorate. This the, is actually fine. It's got more stuff in it. So in terms of raw material, this is actually, I think, a better starting point because it's just it's 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 got more critical mass. Well, it's also kind of underpinning the fact that we're not going to uh, alter someone's First Amendment rights. Right. So I just want to nail down the other constructions that are problematic for elected officials. I think it was those last two sentences in paragraph two. Um, let me. Because otherwise we will work with, so there wasn't any con that concern of, you know, controlling a public official. That's been eliminated, right? Right. Well, are, are public put to put in public safety means police and education officials means school committee. The selectman can't speak. For no, I know we changed no, the wording. We will work so with. We'll work with that, that's yeah. where I want. Well, I, I just did that. I said, yeah, we will work within our community to build trust with everyone. In our community, no, that board way it's inclusive of everyone. Yeah, but Linda, we, we, we have the ability to work with all boards and, and committees. And in fact, actually, obviously, they do. we do. And and so this acknowledges that we're going to you know, we double those efforts on, on on these on these issues. I don't think that um, we can't direct them. Though. We can't. Right, and yeah, that's what I just said. In our community, but our community. save this. No, there, there, you, I don't have you quoted in here. Oh, I do. We talked about this. Do you have another comment um, about this you want to put in? You listen to tape recorder when you needed it. It's right here. <laughs> it's right here. Um, right here recording. Um, I, I, I'm trying to 
basically capture what I had said. I mean, my thinking on this is sort of just what what's the, what, it's important to examine what the board's leadership role in the community is on these issues, acknowledging that it's outside of our day to day, you know, outside of our day to day kind of, you know, urban mechanics making the town run, um, and you know, given the turbulent, sort of given the times that we that we live in. Um, is it not appropriate for people to come to us? Actions for I'm sorry, where? Issues acknowledging that such actions are outside of our normal activities, right? Action. Action. Okay. And given the turbulent times, is it appropriate? Is it appropriate? Yeah. It, is it appropriate for people to expect their local leaders? to reaffirm these basic principles. And your answer is? My answer is, uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and the answer is? Barry's answer is yes. <laughs> and I think that, and that it's, yeah, but that not just one that of not, the most right. important things that we might have accomplished is putting that question on the table for this board to right. wrestle. I don't think you'll get an right. issue with affirming basic principles. The question is how do you phrase them and what are the principles you affirm? So, but, I, so I how do we do it, very, I think, is the important yeah. part. I, I do want to get into the minutes, the, sure. other, um, the other certain constructions that present a problem. Okay. Uh, I want to hear from you guys. Let me. Start. Can we put in the what those are so that we understand going forward what you feel constrained by so that when we see a document that comes out, we understand sort of how that addressed your concerns. Um, because the community may have questions about that. You know, they may, and I think it's important for you to be able to say, we feel constrained as elected officials to condemn. You know, well, I think, I, think the, I think the constraint was just on limiting other people's speech. I mean, I think that was sort of And that's fine. Kind of, yeah. Um, but taking that out of there, are there other things? In there are. There? I, I, I'm having trouble vocalizing it. Okay. It's just, you know, for example, just the first sentence. We believe that this, if you believe, is it true? Look, I'd be fine saying Reading oh, has a history. Isn't that though. funny? Because I said we should eliminate that and start with the strength of our town. Yes. I agree with you oh, on that. Yeah. In fact, I didn't make that change. Okay, and I apologize. And you guys have been staring at this, and I, you know, I'm right. doing it kind I mean, of on the fly. If yeah, I, if I, I could have, understand. if I could have maybe an hour to just mark it up in word. Yeah. In, in fact, that that was, yeah, that. I but it's little things like that here and there that are jumping out at me. So and I know that sounds trivial, but little it's, things, no, no, no. or is it? Because what I what I was wondering is whether it was the tone or the worrying about excluding certain members of the community, like those who have vocalized things here and in the paper. Where does exclude say in here? No, no, is it that, is it your, is it, was that the concern or the constraints that you didn't? Putting this aside, if I just flip it over, it's really difficult to have an elected official say, we like what you people are saying and we don't like what you people are saying. That's what's tough. So that's, a, but that's a, that's a pretty base, like a ground level thing. And so I don't want the minute, minutes to come away saying, we have a problem with certain amounts of language in here. I haven't put any of that in here. No, so. I know. I, I do right, want it to say, but I, I do think what I hear from you, it's, it's almost like no matter what language we put in right. here, would would it have been something that the board wanted to do? I don't know. It could, not, it could be no. That's why I'm going. That's said. going. That's yeah. why I'm going back to the ideas. I think yeah. the ideas have merit. The way you've cast them in sentences, we might take issue with the, the way it's let let in. But should public safety and education officials work with all members of our community? Of course, that's their job. Um, should the board, um, in its policy. Um, reflect that all uh, members of the community are welcome here. That's state law. We can restate that. That's no problem. But we may do it in a way that's different than the way you've constructed it here. And I'm, I'm running out of ideas. 
that's why I want to study this. And I also want to talk to um, the other members of the board to get their ideas. What I might suggest, if, and I know we've, it's coming up here at 9 o'clock, yeah. is um, if you're okay with this, um, maybe Barry and I will go back with this as kind of a round two and suggest that our five, our five of us get together and start to chew on it more formally. I don't know what form that will take in. It probably wouldn't be a regular de 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 deliberation. Um, it probably would be something special. Well, maybe, you know, maybe it could. You know, it just there are times where we've put something last on the agenda when we had 45 minutes to kind of. We've gotten some pretty good. It's really hard to do a group grope though in, in that session. Yeah, but if if they have this in a packet, and and we and we construct it and sort of kind of, I, I I'd be curious to know the other selectmen's views on just kind of. Well, what, what's our what's our role in all this? We've never had that. To, I mean, you know, I've said my opinion on it. You've done a little of yours. Um, I think that's a valuable discussion. You know, that may be the biggest question of the whole thing, besides the legality of the language. You know, I mean, do Is we it want other people feel that's something they should be? Or, you know, I mean, it's not it's not a question. Do we lead? We lead. We're elected. We're elected representatives of. Yes, we're going to Sorry. how how do we how how do we articulate these ideas um, and communicate them to the town as a whole? And how do we uh, make it clear to those folks who may right. feel under the you know kind of under the microscope that that this town um, welcomes them, respects them, and will protect them? And that's that, I think that's the, that's the that's the crux of it. What are the names? Now, we as a board, you'll do it differently. The HRAC might do it differently. We have the, you know, the PTOs. Everyone's going to do it maybe a little differently. How does the board select them do it in a way that, um, you know, because we're, we're a unique body. Um, you know, and and we, it will force us to get out of our comfort yeah, zone. But we haven't taken any of the time to actually put pen to paper. Well, that I was mean, I haven't, we, we, we did, haven't. That we did was, that, twice. That was the we, proposal in our first meeting to actually start with the ideas and put them on the board. We didn't we didn't go there. And we also haven't gotten legal counsel weighing in on this stuff. Well, that's so why the, you want the board to be okay with it at an editorial level. Then you want legal to say, okay, change these three words, you're fine, and then then you're ready to go. Who are the other individuals that helped well, out with this? What are uh, they? Amy Cole, A M Y. C O L E. Okay. And Kate Gold, Gold Lust. Like that? Yep. Anyone else? Nope. So if, if the minutes can reflect what what's happening um, in that the I think you started it was uh, John said in his opinion the document is written will likely not receive five votes of approval. That is to say, there are good ideas where certain constructions present a problem for elected officials to proclaim. Um, Did you want to get another thought in here? I'm just trying to figure out what. So, you're the board. The board members of the subcommittee, or it's it's my understanding that the board members of the subcommittee are not comfortable adopting the. Of revised language because it's not written in their voice. Right. Is that? There's a couple of reasons. There's a sentence or three in here that uh, that I think are going to trip up a couple of us. And I, yeah, I want to put those in there too. But so um, this this probably it's really hard. Well, John, you had talked about is that is that um, that for the board of selectmen it's hard for us to say. You know, we support this free speech, but not this free speech. Which is not. But that's not what we're saying. At all. So but, it's but actually, that's a concern. I wanted to yeah, admit. But, that, I, but, right, that, but, but that's the problem with condemn, because you are. Except that then it's that undermine our neighborhood's community's faith in schools. So. But yep. that's but that's completely. But condemning subjective. is an opinion. Those, do you want those? But that's but that's a, that's, that's a quoted in the minutes. Is that? Yeah, I, I just want to be clear in the minutes. I didn't get the rest. Thinking. I didn't get so, the rest of your sentence. So you said. It's that my understanding that the two members of the board are not comfortable past uh, adopting the revised resolution. D O P. Revised. 
Can we put a date on it so it actually has a... Uh, yes, March 9. Uh, March 9, 2017. Hard... Oh, okay. uh, March 9, 2017 version resolution. Res because it, and, and I don't want to put words in your mouth, so you don't have to write it down yet, but because it's not not written in the board's voice, is that fair? It has. Um, uh, or you could say it's been authored by others. Well, this is you speaking about what you're hearing from yep. me, so the board's I'm voice. The board's voice. And? 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 Uh, that it is, it's the opinion of the board that condemning words would be uh, abridging someone else's First Amendment rights. Yeah, an act that's not illegal is legal, but it may be okay, offensive. So you, uh, actually, yeah, that's good. So the board says that condemning words and acts would be abridging someone else's First Amendment rights. Um, can we put that town council hasn't um, yet weighed in, maybe, or hasn't given an opinion hasn't about about resolution language specifically? It's not read or. And then I think there was some good um, common ground that you mentioned, John. No. That I wanted to highlight because I thought it was um, important. What did I say? <laughs> you, um, and then I, we could put. Um, Gina asked uh, if there are other portions of the document that were problematic. And I think we didn't really talk much more about that, but you had said that there were parts that you believed were not problematic. I think there are, there are, the ideas in here can be recast. I wouldn't, rec I wouldn't expect the board would cast them in this way. There's a but way the that ideas, the um, idea, the, a number of the ideas in here yep. don't present a problem at all. Yeah, and I, I want to get those because I think that's a good, you know, I think you said the working with public, you know, working with the yeah. public safety and education officials to build trust. Um, you talked about, uh, you know, reaffirming uh, the rights of or the. Um, uh, you just phrased it, phrased it in a good way. The, you know, it's our job to. Um, That's where I think we need to get the other guys in the room to kind of get their uh, group thought in here as well. Mm -hmm. It's hard for. I say things very differently than my wife does, and you say things very differently yeah. than I do, and yet it's got to be. Um, it, it might be just easier to take this and say, guys, with this as input, take mm -hmm. a red line. What's what's left? Let's put that on a wall and let's craft a, a paragraph mm -hmm. out of it. So it sounds like the other thing too. You know, the other if the other three may not. You know, they may say something like, "You know what? This isn't our business. This is not what we do." They could, but I, I think uh, under the circumstances. I mean, that's to, one, that's to your point. one. You know, and, and, but I actually think it would be a great conversation to have. I mean, I don't know if you guys watch our meetings on the internet, but you know, I've toward, watched several. To, to, toward the end, we get to have some sleep inducing. Oh, stop. <laughs> Right. Oh, Tuesday night, this night is for the Slackman. You know, I, I, I'd love to have that conversation. I think, I think it's a useful one to have. I think it'd be useful. Excuse me. I think it'd be useful as well. So, so the end, I guess the takeaway is that the board... Or the how do, how do you want to refer to the, I would the say board people a, on the subcommittee? The board people, a, <laughs> not um, not B, not B O R E D, yeah. but. <laughs>
Mm -hmm. Or with little b. John and Mary. That it might be appropriate for the subject. Tell me if you disagree. Matter mm -hmm. of the arch. case, if any. Who knows? But I, I think actually they'll actually do something. You know what, and we on, might, I mean, we'll on my second page. Email, email Bob. Our, our next meeting agenda, we had a full agenda that just cleared up because we're going to do a whole lot of economic development stuff that we're not doing now. Maybe there's 45 minutes that we can get on even the next agenda just to approach these It feels like a workshop, though. This doesn't feel like a BOS meeting. Well, maybe, maybe we, we tried maybe. to do it in the. I mean, yeah, but maybe you can't do it with thirty people. You no, just can't no, do but it. No, I, th I think this is this is just this is really. I mean, obviously, everybody's welcome to come, right? But it's really our discussion. Right? Well, it wouldn't be here at this point because we're saying it's come out of this group back into the main board. Right, but I mean, but the, but I, I really, I mean, all can come and and. And weigh in, but I, I'm really more interested in having a board discussion about these, you know, the overall, our overall view of leadership, and, and what do we, and how do, you know, how do we handle these kinds of things? Maybe not so much write, write the, write the next document, but just have a discussion about what's the proper expectation, and, what, and you know, I think that would be, because I think from that discussion, you know, we'll get a lot of clarity on kind of what we're comfortable with as a group and then I think from that can flow a document um, but I don't know I mean I don't know where anybody's heads at yeah so if we get together with uh, Saturday morning I'll bring the donuts and coffee and we just pound through it um, John can I see the beginning of the minutes I can't remember if we this talked one? about yeah uh, do you think there's a second version right, okay and I want I just Hey, wanted to make sure that we captured. Um, uh, we did a lot of thinking about what changes, based on the conversation at the whatever date and meeting it was, document. right? Incorporating yeah. feedback from. Incorporating um, feedback from, right? Um, developed, redeveloped, following our March six. And is 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 this document? We we went back and forth about endorsed and adopted. If this is now signed by the Reading Citizens for Human Rights Coalition group of five, and it's currently endorsed or signed by 260, or even the original one, whichever one you want, signed by 260 people. Are you asking us, the, the group? Or? Well, no. It, which one should we talk about? If, uh, let's just assume that all the original signatories would sign on to this new document. Is that fair to say? Well, maybe you just do, maybe, maybe, I know you just threw it out on Facebook a couple of times and no, Didn't really my do question a huge is: yeah, what's Does your, what's your question? if this is you know it's signed by two hundred sixty people, it's signed by the clergy council, it's signed by um, you know the medical director, Lewis, it's signed by Senator Lewis. It's um, I do want you to know that it was it was vetted through Senator Lewis's general counsel. <laughs> right. um, if everyone's concerned about the legality of this, I mean that's the only council that has actually. <laughs> Laid eyes on it. Um, is it something that the board members individually would like to sign on to? The individual board of selectmen members. Yeah. I mean, I'd like to see us kind of come up with how we're going to 
I thought the desire in outcome yeah. was to try to find common ground. Try to find the, co yeah. the, the well. No, I'm just I'm saying separate apart. If we're if we're doing a parallel document, if we're I mean, because we're not going to be in that meeting with the with your five. Why don't you wait until see what it comes out before you, wait until see what comes out of it before you pass judgment? We didn't. That's not no. Uh, Gina's not passing judgment. Gina's wondering since this document and the one before has prompted this next meeting. Yeah. As members of the board, do you want to do you want to have your names on it? Do you want to endorse it? Do you want to sign it? I'd rather endorse something that we kind of come up with. I mean, you know, not that I would not sign this. Mm -hmm. I mean, if let's say the five of us get together and say, you know what, we have no wrong. Well, I might as an individual sign that. But yeah. I, I, you know, you, you've come to me as a me you didn't come to me as Barry. You came to me as a member. I know. Right. So that's and what so we're that's asking. that's that's what I I want to I want to figure out what, what or or help figure out what the you know what's going to be the board of selectmen's response to this. And so mm -hmm. you know, do you guys? Sorry to be so casual. I mean, we we took. Two attempts, and many, 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 at these two documents. Do you have other documents that, or do you, within this working group, is there language that you've come up with or thought about? Or no, we haven't started yet. This, you guys came to us. Was it a week ago, Tuesday? We met Monday, and we, now it's Thursday. I mean, we can certainly take cracks at it. Um, that, that, I, that's what the instigation is behind this. Is maybe we I'd like to actually. Do, is there a date on that Canton proclamation? I think we sent that information. Uh, Did you send that? I have it. Uh, looks like twelve nineteen. Of last year. Twenty sixteen. I have. This is from a um, a newspaper article about it on twelve nineteen. Um, I think I printed it. The okay. unity resolution from Medford. I have all these in a document. It's Actually, do you, did, did, you, might, you might have sent them at yeah, some point. Yeah, we did. The Lexington. Um, Can you mind sending it again? So, I, this is so, I get so much stuff on yeah. here. I, I'd like to. I actually would like to read through what individual towns have done and really kind of. Actually, the Lexington you know, superintendent, the, the school committee from Lexington, or from our town, would have the same. It's a it's a parallel structure. So the board of selectmen and the school committee. Are, are parallel uh, power boards. They're both elected boards. Right. They both report to the voters. So it, we could we could go to the school committee separately and apart from this you and could. ask them you to, could. to do this. I mean, and they might a, they might say something entirely different. Yeah, it's and I didn't actually understand that before. They may sign in five minutes. Yeah. Maybe not. Um, so. And the li by the way, where we're at is the library trustees or another board that's elected. Library board of trustees. Of trustees. Okay. Actually, they may be the more conservative on this because they are the uh, defenders of free speech too. Well, but still, if you're looking for elected, I'm the I'm defender of free yeah. speech. No, I, I, mean, I, I got the opinion from the ACLU on it. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, this is like, yeah. yes. I mean, this, this is that's really not. important that we all are. We have worked diligently to make sure that free speech is intact yeah. and we have we have vetted this in many different ways so. don't take any offense the the pause that we're having that there's, a, there's a, a doubt about the time you've put in it's how do we get something that's gets through the personal lens and then gets through the political lens or the, excuse me the legal lens and the and the and this is not lens. that for for this board and for this moment, yeah. it sounds and, like. And what what is the political for lens? This board, yes, this, correct. The political lens may be different, and I bet the legal lens is different too. With with schools, schools have their own attorneys. They're just not the same attorney. Sure, and I I think that because we know we've done the legwork on our end. Yeah. We can't say what Reading Town Council would say, but right. we feel strongly that legally this holds up. So. It becomes a choice after that, right? right? It's right. a it's and, a choice it's a, by the, it's the leadership board and it's, and, and actually, who doesn't right. feel that they either personally want to or politically want to or fill in the blank. You're not hearing do any. Not of, you're, not, no, you're not hearing any of that tonight. I mean, I think you know, town council could very easily say, well, you know, there's there's case law on it in a lot of different ways, you know. Just be careful. And then it becomes a matter of the Board of Selectmen to manage risk. Right? 
And can we put in the minutes that the, the drafters would, would very much like the town council's opinion on so the March that. 9 resolution would like town council. I do have to say something though because I'm sitting here right. and I've been a town meeting member for 16 years and I have discovered things in Reading, the processes of things uh, specifically around financial affairs that I can't get answers to. I don't doubt that. <laughs> and I have requested <laughs> that my question be forwarded to town council for a yes or no. And I was told I'm not entitled to ask the town for any, um, the town council works for the town manager. Right. No, and John Halsey in, in no, a meeting listen, to say that. So that I, had to go, I had to go to the state and got my question answered, and they notified the town of Reading. This is, what my and this is not was. inconsistent. No, we're, no, we're, I'm just saying that because she's saying, well, I'd like well, the town I, council to well, no, respond to John, Chairman Halsey directed to, town not, council. Not to her directly, but to the issue itself. Yeah. 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 They yeah, report back to the board. No, but I mean, it's like, you, it's you, you not think pro bono that's legal. how it works. It doesn't work. Well, 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 Chairman we were, Halsey we were told <laughs> that it was. Yes, Chairman Halsey directed town council to... Well, Mr. Lalashore said he showed the first pass to town council. No, he, no. Did, not. he, did, he did not say that. And we he did not. He, he said it on meeting. No, so that was... You can't okay. agree. No, that, that is not so what happened. I actually need to be a, a, a party, party pooper, but I've got to get on go. a, a 6.30 plane tomorrow. So. Where are you going? Um, oh, just... No more special. Come on, say hi. Oh, okay. I thought you were going somewhere. Thomas, you want to go to the library? You went to the library, Thomas? If this is something my representatives from the Board of Selectmen are going to put together, uh, I would assume you're open to take input and modifications or, or additions to this. Any statement. citizen can make any comment they want. Okay, right? well, I, I think I may want to formulate one. Just send it to whatever it is the email yes. address for all of us. Understand. Just shoot it off to me and Barry or to the town manager yeah, and he'll find its way to us. No problem. So when the day comes, if the kids are, you know, coming their way to town meeting or adults, that we might all be okay. unified and it feels like we're hitting a point here at quarter past, yeah. 20 past yeah. nine. Are so. we all yep. set? I feel comfortable with yeah. the notes. So just a quick look over before I say any comments? I didn't say a word in the meeting. <laughs> <laughs> so you can't do you want, do you want to, do you feel? You, no. Okay. And Remarkably. I did, I did um, we just didn't think it was I did date and, and author your original document. Are oh, this you isn't willing, direct. however, to change, to knock out we believe that and capitalize the strength of our town? Because that was yeah, what I was that saying. was actually. And I want that in there. <laughs> if you you can, just to if you'll that do that, again. the first three words just, and capitalize. Yeah, T H E. Oh. Thank you. Because that was actually yeah. one thing and then I didn't. Make I'll, the I'll assume that's just an editor, a scrivener's error. Moment, so. Yes, that's running on. Uh, running so, running. John, you, uh, you, you and I will, will will report this at next not next next at our 20, next meeting, 20, which is the twenty first. At which time the board may want to engage us a little bit. I mean, uh, you know, my feeling is I don't know if we want to ask Bob to make it an agenda item, um, but you know, we kind of got a lot of momentum. It's probably good to take the temperature. Okay. Well, that, that's what we're proposing here. I, um, I'm glad that the temperature in the room on the meeting a week, is it a week ago Tuesday? Wow, that's that quick. I don't even know. I'm glad yeah. that the temperature in the room is down to kind of a, t a tolerable level. So we've come quite a distance, I think, yeah? Uh, I, I any just, other comments before we return? We're not leaving sight. <laughs> I mean, that, that's not like, you know, Right. Put too much of a spin on it. I mean, we yeah. we're disappointed. We're disappointed. I, you know, and, and I think that that's that's okay. That. Right. That's okay. You know. Yeah. But, do you, but but I hope that you. Well, first of all, I I, I was going to say this, at, you know, right before we adjourn, but really you kind of say that. I'm extremely grateful that you guys came forward with 
this. And I think it's a tremendous opportunity to get us to think about our roles and, and, and outside of the box. And it might not, you know, we might not have sort of gotten a whole hearted, a whole hearted endorsement and, and, and signatures on it, but it's not because I don't think that there's no interest or appetite for this. It's just that um, this is all new, and um, there's five boards, of, there are five members of the board of selectmen that are going to have different cuts at it. Um, I think what the takeaway, what we should feel hopefully psyched about, is that this is not just going to be something we're just going to throw in the trash can and we're done. This is going to get discussed. It is going to get talked about. And, and, I'm and it's, going to get uh, it's going to get some sort of a resolution. Resolution meaning resolve, maybe not resolution. Resolution. But, but I mean, I'll, I'll use that word, resolution, one way or the other. Um, and, and so, you know, I, I would just hope that you would continue to trust the process, trust us, and, and ultimately it may not it may not be a hundred percent of, you know, of what you intended, but you certainly have our attention, um, and um, you know. I think so I'm very yeah. yeah. Thank you. I'm glad that we have your attention. I think that we just talked ourselves the group to the conclusion that town leadership is not willing to say hate is not welcome here. I didn't say that at all. No, no, but I, that's... What we said is I don't think you'd get five votes on the Board of Selectmen with the document as it's currently constructed. That isn't to say yeah. what you just paraphrased at all. Yeah, I mean, but I don't... My win, my goal, isn't to put something before the Board of Selectmen that's comfortable to get a 5-0. I would think you for know? a proclamation or an endorsement, you'd want you'd want that. I mean, that's the whole point you came before us. I think. Like, it might be yeah, harder to get a Sisyphean, right. if that's the right. word, task. None of us could have accomplished Well, we're not going to push rocks uphill. In this, right. in this board right. makeup. But to so, get a five, to get a five zero on thanking the Girl Scouts for you know selling all the cookies, right? That, that's their achievement, right? right? How how could this board have mm -hmm. just as a, as a, a you know I, I run meetings and, and conferences and and we debrief after every one. How could this board have been successful to bring an item to the twenty first for a vote? I, I don't think. How could we have been? This, the board is five. Correct. How could the we sub, have sub been yeah. successful? Because coming I'm, back to chairman policy, we will have been not successful in the task of bringing back a document for a vote on the 21st. Well, we don't have a time limit. I mean, He said the next meeting or the meeting after, which was the 7th or the 21st. Yeah. Um, I still think the way you get group consensus is by starting with a white sheet of paper and getting group ideas rather than, and I'll say this again badly, coming in with a prepared statement saying, will you accept it or not? If you author something and you can bounce ideas off each other, just like we did tonight on a small scale, you get the fusion of the idea. And you walk and away. And usually a better product. But no one else came with any suggestion. Suggestion. Like we were the only ones that's putting pen to paper. Well, sometimes, but, but also what I find is useful is that if you're having, it's always, it's good to start from somewhere. Well, that's, right? what, we, that's, that's what we heard, and, and that's, that's what we tried, but now we're hearing that that could never pass. Can so, I suggest something? I think it's an excellent question what you just brought up. Can because we put it in the, in when the minutes? You, when you, no, no. When you, certainly, when you kind of go back through a process, it's a good way to go forward then again. This began when we asked to be put on the agenda, then we were on the agenda. The night that we were on the agenda, the meeting was derailed. It was derailed through an unfortunate decision by... Just a comedy of error, I would say. I don't think it was a comedy of error. I think that um, Let's put a pin in I think that. That. Let's put a pin in that. Let's move towards yeah, how... But my point is I think that that's where this round table could not succeed the way that perhaps we thought it could. Because I think 
certain things were set in motion at that meeting. I'm not getting what you're saying. I'm not sure if I can articulate it any better. Well, I, I do I do wonder how, I mean, if we had... We, we kind of are where we are, so wondering what would have happened in the past is interesting, but ultimately But academic. it's instructive because if this board continues after the coming election as it stands, or if it changes slight, slightly, most of the key players are still going to be in place. And there's a, a pattern that's starting to emerge. I have watched these meetings. Certain patterns start to emerge in how the Board of Selectmen is and its choices on leadership and what does that look like and is it thinking outside of the box to take a resolution on human rights. In many towns, it's simply not outside of the box at all. In this town, it is, and we discovered that. Um, and maybe you discovered that, I don't know. But I think that it's instructive, and I hope that as part of your conversation over coffee and this document and working toward discovering your own document, that you will consider um, that and I hope yeah, that's, that's it's helpful at some level. I know you sent it and I and I glossed over it brief, you know, briefly before really putting my elbows up to my elbows in this. I, I am really curious about how other towns have done because that's um, you know, that's our model, right? I mean you know well you we asked me would Barry Berman sign this. Barry Berman as a citizen might sign this on a heartbeat. Barry Berman as a selectman that has a different constraint on it. And, I, and, and that's why I want to see how people in my role have handled this. And Barry, because I think it's instructive. Respect, I think it's instructive. When we were in front of the board two weeks ago or whenever, we had all of that material. We were prepared to speak on it and present it. We were never able to because the meeting was really, and that's we were put on the agenda, but we were never really given the floor. Well, so, I, I think, I, I and think, that's and, I can, a and I can, on your board and, 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 and um, I speak for you know, John, if, if I'm wrong, tell me. But I think that when it comes time to have this discussion again, it's going to look different, it's going to feel different. We've all been engaged on it. Um, and, um, you know, everyone will be treated accordingly or with, with, with respect. Yeah, so. just, just, I don't want to go back because it's kind of a pointless exercise, but there were only 10 minutes in the agenda, and we ended up spending 45. And I think it's we either undersized the effort or we underestimated the effort. Right, and we understood we had 10 minutes and we worked on those 10 minutes and we were never given even those 10 minutes. That's the reality. And if you go back, you know, it's like go back, look at the tape, you can sort of see where it derailed. That's not what, up um, to me to I want discuss. to get your quote in here, your sole quote. What would you want it to be? Oh, no, I don't want to be. Oh, no, you, you said some no. great words. I just can't remember what they were. No, it's I important that you, yeah. you know, on the record. What was, what was, that, you, what was the point you made? To be said. Say it again, please. I, I think perhaps the point you're referring to is that the board as it stands right now needs to do some soul searching around these very issues. And I bet that sounds too scoldy, so I'm not, I'm not pleased with it. But that, I, I, well, don't I mean, it, what it, I said. it's sort of, it's, it's kind of. Uh, or you're asking for them to think about things differently. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's kind of almost like what I said. Just kind of Watch the game tape, gentlemen. Watch the game tape and notice some patterns. That's all. I would encourage you as a citizen of Reading. What, what patterns? I don't mean to be thick, but what patterns are you speaking of? This is, um, I have seen, I'm going to talk about is this later. Off, I was going to say it's sort of an off-topic. It's off-topic and it's 9.30. Yeah. And all right. Um, I'd like to make a motion to adjourn at 9.28. So all those, is there a second? I, uh, yes. Yeah. We're, all those in favor? I keep forgetting that I have to vote. <laughs> 5-0. I keep trying to vote in the HRAC meetings. I'm not a voting member. <laughs> so I know, I, and no. Caitlin's hitting me. Don't, and so now I don't raise my hand about anything. <laughs> Thank you. 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 Thank